ever started a vlog this late in the day. It's currently five to five. And I am heading out for a New Balance event uh, this evening. I'm heading there with my friend Sherry. And I'm actually looking forward to it. It's so hot today, which I'm not mad about. I quite like the nice weather, but I really don't like dressing for this kind of weather. And I have chosen to wear a grey t-shirt. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I just wanted to intro the video say hello because the previous video was Copenhagen Fashion Week and obviously I'm back in London now and just enjoying the summer, the rest of summer. Not that there's much left, but you know, gotta make the most of it. So yeah, heading out now and I will catch up with you when I get to the end. show you guys the snacks that I picked up. I have been trying really hard to um, get into better snack habits and eat better quality snacks that aren't chocolate, crisps, stuff like that. So I picked up a load from Amazon. Um, ones that I like that I find are the nicest and I've enjoyed and a couple of new ones as well. So the one that I absolutely love, this is designed for kids and I know it is, um, are the yo-yo bear thingies. They cost like 50 to 70p in the shop. So I'm like, might as well just get a big pack of them. They're really good. I know they're designed for kids, but I absolutely love them. I also got them in this like, um, there's three different flavors in this box uh, because I love them so much and I know that I'm gonna eat them really, really quickly. Um, I then got these, which are sour cream and chive crunchy peas. I have never heard of these before, but I tried them this morning and they're really, really good. They just kind of taste like little, kind of like peanuts, I guess. They don't taste like peanuts, but they're kind of that kind of texture. They don't taste like peas. Um, so I really like these and you get quite a lot in a pack. So these are gonna keep me going for those moments when I'm like starving, but it's like the wrong time to eat. And then I also picked up these, which I've opened in the most rubbish way. But these are like baked mango. Again, absolutely love these. I could like wolf down multiple packets of these. So I got those because I know that I will eat them. And then the last thing I picked up were these um, kind of healthier crisps. So we've got lentil chips in tomato and basil, hummus chips that are salted, um, quinoa chips, sour cream and chive, and then lentil chips, chili and lemon. I just wanted to give them a go and see if I like those because, again, I absolutely love crisps. So, I felt like I needed some better snacks. Now, before you tell me that these aren't that good for you, it's a step closer, okay? I think they're pretty decent. They're better than what I was eating before. I have brought you into the bedroom to show you guys some new bits I bought from Uniqlo. I am in the autumn mindset. I'm very much looking forward to autumn clothing and autumn pieces. So I wanted to show you a few bits that I've just picked up 
that I can wear as it gets a bit cooler. I mean, it's quite warm right now, so they won't be worn just yet. But if there's a cooler day or an evening, some of these pieces might be worn. But also, like, if you're anything like me, you're so ready for autumn. And a lot of the shops, especially Uniqlo, have, like, new autumn bits in. Not, like, gone crazy with it, but they've got bits. And I'm here for it. So the first thing I picked up is this jumper. Now, you might have actually seen this before. This is a grey knit jumper i actually bought this in um copenhagen and you know when you just want two of them because you know you're going to wear it a lot um so i got another one and i really like the style of this and the size it's an oversized fit but i got it in a medium just so it would fit super baggy um and i really like it it's a nice lightweight knit but also quite cozy and warm when i wore it in copenhagen it was just a dream to wear so I just knew that I'd get a lot of wear out of this. They do this in lots of different colours as well. So if you're looking for a jumper and you like the style of it and you want different colours, Uniqlo is the place to go. They always have like so many colours and everything that they they like bring out. And I love it. Um, the next thing is this little gilet. Um, and it's like a little kind of mini puffer coat kind of situation. I've never really been one for a gilet, but... I kind of like the idea of like quite a layered look and if it's getting a bit chillier but you can still wear a t-shirt this would be quite nice over the top of a t-shirt just to add that kind of autumn layering without going like too crazy but also still keeping you a bit warm if it's a bit chilly but also layering over a jumper wearing under a coat I think it's gonna be a really good piece to have and um, it's super like small so if you wanted to pack it up in a bag it's like super small it's going to be easy to travel with as well so this i'm excited to wear it's like a bit different for me but i'm kind of like trying to fit like i'm trying to get my style to where i want it to be rather than where i feel like it should be because i often slip into the idea of i need to dress this way when actually i just want to dress the way i want to dress um so a few other bits that i picked up i got another pair of the black wide leg trousers these trousers i wear so much like they're such a good pair of trousers and they are like a good classic so there's no harm in having a couple of pairs um and these are just the plain black ones i have these trousers in a gray a khaki a brown color which i don't think they do anymore and the black and i love them like they are my go-to like wide leg trousers so if you're looking for a pair of trousers or you want to try something, Uniqlo's a place to go. They do also do them in long, so if you're a taller gal, then they do longer ones, which is amazing because they never used to do that. And Uniqlo stuff does traditionally come up a little bit shorter. So it's nice to know that they are catering for the tall gals. Um, the last couple of bits I got, one of which is this little long sleeve top. And it's really nice, like, it's kind of like a purpley colour like a grey lilac colour. I have this in a cream and it's beautiful. I love it. And I think for like layering in the winter time, but even just going into autumn, wearing with jeans or like, you know, trousers or something on its own would be really nice. So yeah, they're kind of sheer, but I love that kind of style. So I got that. Excited to wear that. And then the last thing is this bag, which isn't very easy to show you. Hang on, let me just tie it up there we go so it's a crossbody bag and it has this kind of like flap that like has a drawstring kind of like if you're from if you're my age and you went to school and you had like a PE kit that you had like a drawstring bag it's kind of like that but it's like a crossbody and it's like folded over I love this it's super like oversized and just like you can fit so much in it, but also it just looks quite cool. It's a little bit different from the average like uh, Uniqlo bag that everyone's been wearing re recently. Um, and it just it's just a different take on it. I quite like it. So yeah, I'm excited to wear this and all the other bits. I will link them all below for you guys. And I will style them up as it gets a bit cooler because it's quite hot right now. And trying on jumper in this heat isn't something I really want to do. So do keep an eye out for that. I also will be sharing these items over on my Instagram and TikTok. So do follow there as well if you want to see what they look like on. But I will link everything below for you guys.
Connor. Like now I got a son, I feel like fuck that toxic masculine bullshit that played my child in. Because it will not be the same for my son. Right? That's all I have to say, but still it's important. Also, before I move on, my old head teacher is here, Stuart Warner, Mr. Warner, that's my like my hero right there, man. So make some noise for my head teacher, man. There's a crazy thing. The world just throws things at you, just gotta take it on roll, but that's like, that's really like, yeah. There's no need without Stuart, so big up to Stuart, man. For that. I mean, all the teachers that were striking, I mean, you know, we just we finally got a little bit of a rise. It's not enough, but it's something we're moving in the right direction. So. Anyways, man, let's continue with what we're here for.